Hi, we are the Eight Strings. Welcome to our channel. I'm Yubin, the violist. And I'm Mika, the violinist. Do you know that based on the fingers and location, the pizzicato can sound different? Today's lesson is everything about pizzicato. We will introduce the types of pizzicato and where is the best spot to pluck your strings and some more tips. When you have this sign, it is an indication for us to pluck the strings instead of playing with the bow. Then, where can be the best spot for plucking the string? Well, it depends what kind of sounds you want to make. Pizzicato can be same as bowing, meaning when you want louder sounds, as you bring your bow closer to the bridge, same goes for the pizzicato. The closer you pluck near the edge of the fingerboard, the louder it gets. Then, how can we find the most ringing spot to pluck? Of course, you can find it by plucking everywhere, but here's an easier way to find it. This is the G string, and here is a G note two octaves higher. This is a hot spot for best ringing pizzicato. So how about here in the D string? It is the same idea. You find your two octave higher D and that position is the best spot for the most round and ringing pizzicato. Then what if you want to play fast pizzicato? Then bring your right hand to the scroll direction. The reason is because the gap between the strings is narrower. So if you have to play fast pizzicato with string crossing, it is easier to do it. However, if you bring your hand too much, it can be tiring. So find the best spot for your comfort. Now, where can we do the part of pizzicato? If you are not familiar with this type of pizzicato, this is the Barto pizzicato sound. Did you hear the snapping sound? This pizzicato is named after the Hungarian composer Bela Bartok because he was one of the first composers to use this technique extensively. It is very crucial to have the snapping sound. In order to get the snapping sound, the best location would be in the upper part of the fingerboard, towards the bridge. That is because here, the gap between the strings and the fingerboard is wider, so the strings can snap better. Now that we know where to pluck the strings, let's talk about which right hand finger is better to use. Each one of us has different finger sizes and shapes. So ultimately, it comes down to preference, but in most cases, your best bet would be the index finger. When I need to play fast pizzicato, I do it with the index finger. Some people like to secure the thumb on the side of the fingerboard, but we both prefer to do it from the air, like this. Try not to raise your shoulder because it will lock your motion and will slow you down. Oh no! It's basically the same idea as when you play with the bow. In modern tempo, I personally like to use the middle finger because it gives more rounder sound, but it can also offend someone. So please pair it with your index finger. You can also use the thumb, especially when rolling the chords, kind of like what guitarists do. Again, every person has different hand shape. Unfortunately, I don't have that much of flesh on my index finger, so I have to compensate in order to make sounds rounder. But I have, on the other hand, thicker fingers, so I always use my index finger. So find the best fingers based on your needs. Your hand gesture matters in the result of your pizzicato. 
If you want a round and graceful sound, you have to make this circular motion after you pluck the string, so that the sound can travel nicely. If you want a stronger and more dramatic sound, you make a horizontal motion also faster with your hand. Another tip for pizzicato. If you want to vibrate the pizzicato, do vibrato after you pluck the string. In this example, I did vibrato before I plucked. It is unclear and we might have a chance that we pluck while the intonation changes. Can you hear the difference? This time I waited until after I plucked the string to do vibrato. This way the sound is in tune and clear. Left hand pizzicato is used mainly in virtuosic pieces such as Sarasate's Jigunyo Bryson or Ernst Erkeling or when sometimes you don't have enough time to switch from pizzicato to bowing and you have an open string pizzicato then you can pluck it with your left hand. For this one, the angle where you place your fingers is important. Make sure you don't put your fingers too flat because if you do that you'll probably hit other strings when you try to pizzicato with the left hand. Instead, keep your fingers curved as if you would play normally, even a little bit more curved so that when you do pizzicato, you will not hit other strings. Before we let you go, we would like to introduce two more pizzicato techniques. One is called Pizzicato de Sandy. Again, Bartok used this technique in his works. After you pluck, you just slide with the finger. Honestly, outside of Bartok's music or contemporary music, I never use this technique. Another type of pizzicato is called slurred pizzicato. Immediately after you pluck a note, you hit the next one with your left hand. This technique is most used by guitar players. I personally never encountered this one so far. So how do you feel about pizzicato? Uh, do you feel you know more about this technique? Let us know in the comments section if you have any further questions about this. Thank you for watching. We'll be seeing you in our next video. Bye! Bye.